bring in the former police chief of Detroit and Michigan gubernatorial candidate, James Craig. James, welcome to the show. If you were Thank running you, a big city anywhere in America right now, would you do that? Would you take that kind of action, not stopping people? Absolutely. You know, Stuart, this is bad public safety policy. It's ridiculous. You know, I've served in law enforcement for four decades plus. Uh, one stop that I remember vividly, uh, I stopped a late model Cadillac. I was a sergeant uh, for a minor infraction. As it turned out, that vehicle was involved. The suspects inside of that vehicle were involved in a carjacking, uh, a felonious assault on the individual who was severely injured. Had it not been for the traffic stop, that would have been an unsolved crime. So this professor who makes statements that they don't, these stops don't necessarily lead to uh, solving homicides, for example, I disagree. They can, not always, but they can. Now, let's face it, profiling, stopping someone based solely on race is wrong. So like in many cities, document the stop. Sometimes law enforcement gets it right. Sometimes we don't. Explain to the motorists, I stopped you for the following reasons. Look, people who live in vulnerable neighborhoods want effective constitutional policing. And as I know it, making a traffic stop can lead to uh, an arrest of a serious offender. Okay. That's legal. Well, James, can I just expand this out a little bit? Give me the big picture here. The White House, we've got a, cr a crime increase. We know it. It, it's very visible. There's a crime increase. You can call it a spike if you like. The White House is blaming increased crime on COVID. What's your response to that? Another ridiculous statement. Now, admittedly, uh, when the pandemic struck, ironically, at the same time, we saw an increase in violent crime. We didn't know. Maybe it was because of the uh, impact to mental health. Uh, but as time went on, there was another pandemic brewing, anti-police, the so-called failed bail reform. Uh, everything you see going on today, uh, these smash and grab robberies, uh, that situation that happened in Chicago at a high-end uh, auto retailer, uh, he's fed up. He said, hey, I voted for the mayor, yeah, so but it... she's not protecting my business interests. So the pandemic I'm talking about is rogue prosecutors, judges who are failing with bail reform, that's what's driving violence in our cities. It has nothing to do with the pandemic. Because one thing individuals who are involved in crime know, there are less consequences today or no consequences today. This is why you see the spike in crime all over our country in many places. You are a Republican. And as I understand it, you're going to be in the Republican primary for the gubernatorial race in uh, Michigan. You'll be going up against uh, Gretchen Whitmer. Have I got that right? Okay. Yes, that is exactly right. So. The viewers can certainly go to ChiefJamesCraig.com. <laughs> Got it. I, I figured they would. Uh, come back on the show before the primary and, and, and afterwards, too. Let's see how the, the race is going in Michigan. James, thanks for being with us today. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you. And thank you so much. Appreciate you, Stuart.